Well, I, I think that's an excellent point, Ken, that the fact that people have to learn the technology and if they're not willing to learn to hire somebody who can actually do it for them. So they can basically still just show up and do it and have someone guiding them through it. I mean, there's very fortunate um, that we have so many things like virtual assistants that can help us do the things that we're just not real crazy about having to learn. Yeah, you know, that's great. Uh, talk about moving the economy along. Uh, I, I have a full-time video editor uh, that does my videos and and a lot of my web stuff and, and all that. And that and that's, I wouldn't really be able, I wouldn't know how to do it myself. Um, but now the technology is getting so that you can, um, you know, there's the new flip cam that has its own um, software that's really easy to use to be able to, to create a video. And even I, as, as, you know, as low techy as I am, I can create a video out of it. So, you know, these cameras are less than two hundred dollars that you can buy these days, and they're high def. And right, so I right. do a lot of my videos now. I have a, I have a, you know, several thousand dollar cameras, but now I do a lot of my stuff with the with the flip because it's high def and it's really easy to turn it on and start talking. So it is so easy. I have one and and probably have a couple of hundred videos on YouTube, but it it's easy. Anybody can do it. So the, there's really no excuse for it. It's just getting people to actually start doing something that they're not doing now, which is sometimes a challenge. But, you know, for those listening, you know, if you're not going to do it yourself, you definitely want to hire someone to, to do it for you. 